Hey everyone, welcome back. I'm super excited to announce one of the next courses in full stack web developer roadmap on CodeDAM that is on React Query. Now I mentioned in my full stack web development video as well how important this ecosystem of tooling around React is, especially because React is a library which comes unopinionated. That means there is no fixed way of doing something. So that means we have to stick with the correct ways. And if you go to the learning paths on CodeDAM and take a look inside the full stack learning path, now you will see just after we covered React fundamentals, it's important that we start with React Query. And React Query, although technically speaking, a general purpose library for anything which returns a promise, but the major use case of React Query is only and only for network requests. And we will discuss very briefly, well, in this whole course actually, that what React Query is, how you can start with it, what it means to work with React Query and what are the advantages over traditional ways. But in general, some of the major advantages of React Query is of course the caching part because now you do not need to make a query request on every single mount. The second interesting thing about React Query is that your two components can share the data from same API call without making two individual requests or without setting up the whole Redux thing. So with React Query, if you depend only on Redux for central state management for your network data, you can completely remove Redux. And you will realize, I mean, we used to use Redux at CodeDAM. Once we shifted to a solution which actually handles the state of the network automatically, it makes so much sense to get rid of Redux if you're just using it for that. So these are like a couple of examples um, out of many things. I mean, there's awesome developer support, there is stale while revalidation support, there are tons of more features in React Query, all of which we will briefly discuss in this course. But the best part about this course is that this course is interactive. That means I cannot even try to put this course on YouTube. Why? Because let's see if I start with a hello world with React, after this video, once we are done with this video, for example, once you are done with this video, the next element actually is installing React Query. Right, so let me just go ahead and quickly complete this challenge with you guys. So what essentially this means, this lab means, is that you should first of all, like it says React Query installed and React Dev Tool should be mounted on screen. And actually, I will just do the first one because I have actually forgot the syntax on the second one and I'll have to Google this. But what you have to do is just add yarn, add React Query, hit enter. And what it would do is that will install the React Query bundle. And once you do that, just run test pretty much like how you would expect the test to work. It should just pass your first test. And well, like I say, the second test would be passed when you mount the React Query dev tools right here. And how do you do that? Well, you have to watch the previous video for that because we discussed that in there. So overall, this is an interactive course. In this lab, for example, we recreate a mini blog, for example, which was in the previous video. So you will be actually doing a lot of hands-on practice along the way as well. So I highly, highly recommend these practice labs, especially once you complete these videos, because they will allow you to break that autopilot learning. Because what happens usually with people is that they just start learning something and then they just keep on learning and by the end of the course, you don't even know what you learned. So with this course, this interactive course, this is one of the many interactive courses of the full stack learning path on CodeDAM, which again, you can go to learning paths and full stack to see all the courses. But yeah, you will find this path right here, this course right here, just below React Fundamentals. Feel free to check out any other course as well, above or below. We are adding a lot of interactivity and a lot of new courses every single week. And uh, yeah, I mean, while we are at it, you can also purchase it. For a lifetime access, you will see a different dialog box here. But once you do, you will have a lifetime access to all of these current and new courses updated here. So yeah, that's all for this video. Hopefully you will be able to start with React Query course. And did I mention that this course in this learning path is actually free of cost? So you don't need to pay anything, especially for this course out of this whole learning path. I mean, sure, if you purchase this, this will be available anyway. But this course right here is free to start. So you can go ahead, browse this course. And this course is free for a limited time, right? So it's not going to be free. So make sure you enroll in this, start this course and complete it as soon as you can. People are already enjoying the course. I mean, these are not fake reviews, so you can definitely play around with that and trust these people as well. So yeah, that's all for this course and this video. 
we will be coming up with more courses more interactivity everything and your support means a lot so make sure you leave a like and leave a comment what do you think about this course what do you think about react or react query in general that is all for this video i'm gonna see you in the next one really soon